hey let's talk about what can we do about negative situations if there is such a thing that negative karma or negative synchronicities why something negative is constantly happening to me why it is constantly repeating so if you're interested to know how we can solve it and how we can manifest a positive outcome stay tuned to this video welcome back my name is Gaspar Deliner and today we will be talking about if here is such a thing as negative karma and what we can do about it so firstly to understand why the negative things are happening to us actually we can say challenging moments because positive and negative is just our judgment our perspective on what is happening to us but when we say challenging moments we say that those moments are here to challenge us and all challenges are here to grow so if something negative is constantly repeating to you that can mean that those moments wants to teach you something because our purpose here is to grow to inspire and to be inspired and share this love with the community with the world and most of all our purpose is to be happy and happiness can be maintained when we are doing what we love when we are inspired by life by all the things around us and inside of us when we are sharing love when we are grateful when we are you know inspired for living and <clears throat> that's where happiness is coming from so if we are searching it but there are constantly challenging moments and we think that there is such a thing as bad karma and we think that we are punished for something that's what karma means nowadays karma is actually uh, it's explained the same as law of attraction you will receive something for your action so after action comes a reaction that's what karma is it's not a punishment karma is not that some force will punish you for your actions it's just that whatever you are thinking about you will you will be creating you will be attracting but also now we can understand that it's not that easy it's not just what you're thinking about you're creating it's more about what you're feeling about so if you will do something and you will attract a reaction out of your act it's not so important about how you're acting it's about how you're feeling when you're acting how you are feeling when you are doing something that will bring you the results and if you are constantly getting negative results in your perspective negative results that can mean that you are most of the time feeling those low emotions which are fear stress anger anxiety maybe even depression those are those feelings which can bring you in your opinion negative results those are those low vibrations more we can bring those vibrations higher higher energy higher frequency more positive results you will bring to life you will attract and you will create so that's how we can solve this negative karma it's really it's a challenging thing it's a challenging thing it's not really negative like i said challenges are here to remind us to grow to make us grow to make us you know a better version of ourselves and because it's hard to believe sometimes why this is happening to us so many things are constantly repeating why this is happening to us it's really hard to understand sometimes and i'm thought i totally feel you because i used to be there and before i understand what we can do about it before i understood that it's actually nothing is happening to me but for me it's a big change in mind in mindset nothing is happening to you but for you and when you will be able to understand that 
you will change all the outcomes in your life because you will change your perception and your perspective about life and with that your feelings and emotions will change so we need to become conscious about how we feel how we feel about things how we feel when we are doing something how we feel when we are talking with people how we feel when we are at our job how we feel when we are communicating how we feel when we go to sleep how we feel when we wake up that's what's important and then when we recognize how we feel then we can change it or we don't change it it depends of what we want to experience but if like you are probably watching this video because you are experiencing some negative events in your life and in order to change those events you will need to change your feelings you will need to raise your energy and how to raise your energy we need to become more happy we need to experience life in a brighter light you know become more happy become more grateful become more abundant and i don't talk about right now about physical abundance feel more abundant you know if you can find a thing to be grateful for that is giving you a feeling of abundance think about your heart it is constantly beating 24 7 Think about the nature, it is growing, it is changing, every single day is changing, moon is going around, sun is going around, it's giving us life. How many things you can find in the nature to be grateful for and the things which are giving us life, trees for example, if you would cut all the trees there would be no air, no, no life. So how many things here is to you know, to be grateful for, but when we are focusing so much on the negative experiences, it's obviously that we can't see these things. So, in order to change it again, we need to set our awareness to the things that matter. You know, our problems, we call them problems, they are actually not problems but we are just setting our focus to those events to those experiences and because we are setting so much focus on the things which creates negative emotions inside our body then we start calling them problems because because we set so much focus onto those problems so what would happen if you would set so much focus on, on something that makes you feelings of happiness, that makes you feelings of gratitude? You know, you would probably feel better, you would feel happier, you would feel more grateful. So with this video I want to encourage you to raise your energy, to raise your frequency with that go outside in the nature or meditate or write down your dream life and write down how do you feel and when you will see how do you feel write down what you want to change about it and then act on it on, on that if you will not act on something that you want to change nothing will change you know you can constantly wishing to feel better but nothing will change you can constantly dreaming about feeling better but if you will not act on that if you will not work on that you will not bring results to your life so think about you know write down your goals write down what you want to change write down how your life you want to be write down how you want to feel because that's how you will become more aware of your feelings and that's how you will become more aware what you can change about your feelings and that's how you will change those negative synchronicities. As I was talking in a video before about synchronicities, many people, many of you were writing down, oh, this is a synchronicity. And as you can see, how easy it is for you to see positive synchronicities, because there are all around us are positive synchronicities. But if you can see them, negatively 
if you can see them with fear and anger, then the synchronicities will suddenly become negative. But like the same thing can be for one person positive and for another negative. It's just because of our perception. It doesn't mean that something is negative and positive. It's just how we see it. So when we will change our thoughts, when we will change the energy in our body, the feelings, emotions, then we will see the world differently. And a thing which was before negative then can be experienced as positive. And when we will experience something as positive, also more positive results will come to to our life. That's how it works. That's how the law of the universe works. And the only thing we should need to know here is to understand at least something about how it works. You know, that we can that we can change our life, how we see it. And, you know, stop being angry on people around you. Stop being angry on yourself. You know, stop, stop living in fear. Stop watching the news and something that brings you those negative feelings and emotions. You know, the, we can make a change if we want to make a change. But if we want to make a change, we need to act on making a change. Not just want to make a change, but do nothing. You need to act on that every single day. And one day, it will become a habit. And when something positive will become a habit in your life, then your life will be totally changed. And you will not see it anymore as something hard to do to change yourself because it will become a habit like an almost unconscious habit you will unconsciously be a positive person and then you will see what else you can change in your life to be even more happier if you will need to but it's being happy it's kind of simple way we don't need much to be happy we actually don't need nothing to be happy because it, it's it all starts within us so I hope this video can help you and can inspire you to find your own freedom and to find more positive things than negative in life because that's how to change everything. More positive will, will uh, get loose of those negative things, negative experiences. I'm sending you all blessings and love on your journey and have a beautiful day. Peace.